hoping to make some more history happen here tonight. Referee blows his whistle. The Sounders kick us off going from left to right here at Starfire Sports Stadium. Both teams with something to prove. As Nick Moon is on the attack here for San Diego. Both of these teams in second place in the respective Western Conferences. This is a big chance for San Diego early on. Huge save from Cleveland. Called into action inside of two minutes as Charlie Adams nearly scored a big opening goal. It's a great opportunity there for Adams. He needed to be a little bit more composed in the box. A terrible giveaway gifted him the opportunity and he was unable to capitalize on it. He's going to wish he had that one back later on in this game. His eyes widened when the ball fell to him inside the penalty area as it's a bit of a adventurous run there from Koke Vegas. Abdullahi Sissoko played his season with Tacoma Defiance and MLS Next Pro a season ago. This is Colin Martin for San Diego after the pass was picked off. We'll get a reset at the back. Of course, Seattle, for those that don't know, many do, of course. Four-time winners of the U.S. Open Cup. Last time they won it. Christian Roldan, of course, on that list as well of unavailable players. And she sent Danny Lavon alone to Colorado Rapids, another player that could have been used if he was still in the squad. Plenty of MLS experience and pro experience in general. It's Adams and it's Cleveland. Yeah, he opted to go directly for goal, but you can see the size of Collier. See, I'll have some, some huge targets there to deliver ball into the box from, but they did well to be first through everything and eventually snuff out the danger. Abdullahi Sissoko scored quite a few goals with his head in MLS Next Pro last season. Still time for San Diego to get back in this in the first half. Moshe Bond's cross was blocked. Mines did well there, driving forward in possession of with three players around him. Ooh, Perez wins this back for San Diego. Lovely run, lovely skill. Not a bad effort. Good save from Cleveland. Where he needs to be, great instincts inside the penalty area. And it always helps to have the size as well. Here's Moshe Bon. You, you have to give San Diego a lot of credit here. If you were just a neutral watch and you didn't know which level either of these teams play for, you would actually at this point maybe believe that San Diego were the MLS team in the way they're passing the ball around and, and their composure in possession. Baker Whiting does push his arm across his face there openly. Should have barely gone in, in San Diego's favor and been a free kick for San Diego. Chested into the path of Vargas. Double air goes down. Referee. Oh, play continues. Whistle never went. And it's a goal. It's in. Referee never blew the whistle. Sounders were looking for a penalty that never came, but they're the ones that kept on going. Seattle are in front inside of 15 minutes. Absolutely criminal defending. Great little one-two there from Vargas. Delicate ball over the top. The defender Moon here did ever so well with that tackle. I don't know why Adam stops playing here and then eventually get punished in the end. Schoolboy defending. You never stop playing until the referee's window blow whistle blows. And unfortunately here, for all the plaudits that had given San Diego defense. Montero has one already. And he goes for a second. Oh. And Vegas. Probably had his heart skip a beat there for a second as he sees it flash by the post. Conceding the opportunity, albeit you never stop playing in the way that they did until you hear the referee's whistle, but punished. One opportunity, one goal for, for Seattle. It almost seemed like San Diego were going to concede the penalty. They thought a penalty was coming. Referee played advantage. Boy, did Seattle ever take advantage. And I think the keeper, Koke, did ever so well to save the first one, but his team stopped playing and eventually Montero is not going to miss from that distance there. He punished him. Big, big error for San Diego at the back there. And Freddie Montero is not going to let you off of that. That's his bread and butter. Thank you very much. Good night. 1-0. That's why they have so much confidence coming into Tukwila tonight. There was a great ball there from Adams to find Corona just now. Under pressure, deep in the left-back position and plays a diagonal ball centrally and finds Corona in space. Team on the field is a, is a completely different thing. And obviously we spoke about Nine changes from the weekend's roster. Seattle on the attack, looking for a second. It slips through Vegas' hands, and double air scores. Vegas couldn't corral the cross. Ethan double air doubles Seattle's lead. And the Sounders are in very good shape in this third round cup tie. They lead by two goals to nil. Dealt with, with fairly easily. Should have been plucking cherries here, taking care of this one, but he lets it slip out his fingers. And another straightforward finish. 
Dobele was not going to miss this opportunity on the half volley, left foot on target. Colin Martin. A space to run into here. Moshaban, a little feed from Adams to him. Terra's ball into the penalty area. It's headed centrally for Sissoko. Vegas palms it off the line. Retrieved by Vargas. Vegas does ever so well to save this. But you see the delivery again from Montero. You can see Sissoko is centering the goal and there's nobody marking it. Right. Moshaban. Charlie Adams. This is Perez. Perez picks somebody out. He decides to recycle it. Fair 50-50 balls on both occasions there. Seattle comes out with it with Chu. Montero, double air is running. Double air is in behind. Double air is crossing. Big chance, two players had a chance at it. Chu and then Montero, they both missed it. Rebaker waiting for Montero. And Koke Vegas holds on to it. San Diego changes. Apologies for a brief moment there to give us time to get through all of them. Evan Conway and Ronaldo Damas have both come on. So the two big offensive attacking players for San Diego are on. And Seattle still looking very dangerous on the counter-attack. Next goal in this game is crucial. It always is at 2-0. Vargas whips the ball in towards Sissoko. I think there's still a lot to play for in this second half. Good pressing from the loyal here. Conway. Cutting through the defense, looking for Damas. It's Elijah Martin, and his volley is deflected out. It's a goal kick. It's it hit off penalty. of Damas. No, He's given a it penalty. is. It's a penalty. It's a handball. Ariaga gets a yellow card. Great spot there, Chris. It is a penalty. Change of speed. Hangs the ball up at the far post. You actually thought maybe he hits this first time on the volley. But his actual lack of composure ends up coming to be a benefit for him. Ball bounces, strikes it the second time, and it hits the defenders. Oh, shoulder, arm, it's a harsh one. San Diego goes to their captain here. Joe Corona scores just about. Gets it under the gloves of Cleveland. San Diego are back in it, it's 2-1. Cleveland won't give it up. And this game has just been taken up a few notches. San Diego needed a response. Very important in the second half. And San Diego have managed to get it. Cleveland almost saved that ball. He dives well to the right side, just unable to get enough on it. Moments in cup ties that can change the tide. Corona has been booked for descent. Just talked about it, Chris. Unnecessary to do that. And the first time they've been put under pressure by Conway, They've cracked, and, it's, and San Diego have managed to get themselves a goal and get themselves back into this contest. Does Seattle have a response? Oh, big save, and then it's headed off the line by Stoneman after Vegas initially got a touch to the shot by Rothrock. Another big let off there for San Diego defensively after get, just getting themselves a goal and getting themselves back into the game. They leave themselves wide open at the back post, and they, and they should have been punished there again. And all of a sudden, you can't take your eyes off this cup tie. Anything can happen now. Joe Corona breathes life back into San Diego's open cup run from the penalty spot. Baker. Down the line for Rothrock. It's a lovely ball. Rothrock gets past Martin. And it's gone in. Vegas lets it go through. Oh. It's a gift. Paul Rothrock, the substitute, re-establishes the Sounders' two-goal advantage. Great run from Rothrock. Absolutely sells Martin down the line. But again, this is poor goalkeeping from Vegas when he's called upon to do something fairly basic. The ball's there. Fairly dangerous situation there in that wide channel. Managed to beat two or three players, but they managed to get enough bodies behind the ball to force San Diego to play backwards to the halfway line and really neutralize any threat that was occurring. Nice job by Cleveland, who hasn't put a foot wrong all night. But San Diego does get the throw. Damas goes for glory. It's going to take much more than that to beat Cleveland from there. 
They need to find Conway Morphin. He's been the, the player that's come on in the second half that's been able to make them tick it offensively. He's been able to make things happen with his individual ability. I think he's the player that San Diego right now need to try to find more often. Sousa will take over from here. Another one of the youngsters, Ryan Spencer, at his disposal tonight. It's always good to see young players getting their feet wet in, in cup competitions or in first team games in general. You know, you have to get the experience somewhere and having the opportunity to play these games and get young players out there. For them to actually showcase that they're good enough to, to get the trust to play in bigger games is always good to see. Montero, and for a cheeky chip. Out by Baker Whiting, Mo Shaban on the recycle to Nalati. Nalati striding into space. Corona for Cam Riley. Persistence to chase a ball that you may not think you're going to win creates creates your own luck. It's not a case of getting lucky. You know you worked hard to get it, but you didn't give up on an opportunity that you thought may may have been going out of play in here. Dangerous opportunity for his team there. So you have to give him credit for how he's conducted himself tonight. From the set piece, oh, it's a sparkling. What a free kick. Bends it into the top right hand corner. Cleveland on this occasion, not able to get anywhere near it. In the defensive and the dirty work for their team. So you have to give him credit for how he's conducted himself tonight. From the set piece, oh, it's a sparkling, sparkling free kick. San Diego are right back in it. Joe Corona's done it again. 3 2. Has been questionable. There's been a couple more opportunities that Seattle probably will be kicking themselves that they've not capitalized on and put this game to bed earlier in the game. But definitely a lot of fight. Now, as well, speaking about how the field here tonight is a little bit more intimate, the fans are closer to the field, it's tighter, it's closer, it lifts the players. San Diego could be in here. Conway, it's Hackworth! And he's headed it wide of the goal. What a chance! I think it's Conway here again, delivering this ball. Left up at the back post, Hackworth does ever so well to get his head on it. He just needs to direct it back where it came from, across the goalkeeper, and he would have got it where it came from, across the goalkeeper, and he would have got his team back onto level peg. And however, heads it wide of the frame. Tremendous let off there for Seattle in the closing stages of this game. Still three minutes of the 90 left. Ooh, Corona was taken out there. Referee will visit this challenge here. A yellow card has been shown. Hackworth is dragged down. San Diego asked for a free kick. It's not been given. But now Riley has it. Hackworth again. Crossed into the middle. It's flicked on by Corona. Cleared by Baker Whiting. Only as far as Kyle Adams. Stoppage time has been entered. Three added minutes for San Diego to find a third equalizing goal. Oshaban is brought down. It is a free kick. He's their U.S. Open Cup run. Can they save it with a last minute equalizing goal? They get a throw in deep down the field. Entering the last minute of a minimum of three added on. Corona for Conway. During the last minute of a minimum of three added on. Corona for Conway. Still Evan Conway brought down. Referee sees nothing wrong with it. It's Adams! Oh! It's sensational! Kyle Adams equalizes in the final minute! San Diego finds salvation at the death! Extra time beckons. And the Sounders are silenced. It's 3-3. What a strike. Conway again trying to create something here. Doesn't give up on it. The ball breaks in the edge of the box. Ball travels so fast, we can't even get a good view of it from the replay. It's an absolute steam train into the back of the net. What a strike. Of course, we've seen they've been de de defensively susceptible throughout the course of the game. But offensively, they have Seattle in, in all kinds of problems right now. First period of extra time. He's underway. Corona tried to find Damas over the top. Damas tries to win that back. Referee's whistle goes. It is a loyal free kick.
Verona has proven to be very dangerous from these situations so far in this game. It's a turnover here. Seattle could be in. Montero has his shot blocked. Sosa, he's blocked as well on the edge. Uderitz and Koke Vega scoops it up. Just makes you wonder what we're going to see next. A lot of time left. What do the soccer gods have in store for us tonight? And not win this game with the chances that we were given it and converted. Rothrock, who thought he had won the match at one point, into the middle. Sousa able to recover it with Hackworth on his back. Baker wins a throw in off of Conway. Play continues. Sissoko. Reed Baker Whiting. Cuts inside. And shoots! Oh my word! It's a stunning goal from Reed Baker Whiting! And the Sounders are back in front. It's a screamer. This is becoming a, a game of bangers. Picks up this ball right and drives inside. Martin almost opens up the channel for him to keep going. Puts it onto his weaker foot, his left foot, and absolutely rips it into the top corner of the net. Goalkeeper against the no chance. Couldn't get close to the ball. Bucket loads of it tonight. Colin Martin in behind for Damas. He's going to catch it. Can Damas find a teammate in the middle? He tries to, he gets it back, and Cleveland saves it. Tough angle for Damas. Good stop from Cleveland. His defender, and the angle for the shot is, is very tight when it comes back here. There was really no one centrally in, in a good position. All right, he's a lefty. Reed Baker Whiting. He's a righty. He's ambidextrous. <laughs> and that's the end of the first period of extra time. Reed Baker Whiting. The goals that we may not see again for the remainder of the competition. But there's still 15 minutes to go. San Diego, we know they're not gonna they're not gonna give up to the very, very, very last last minute. Both defenses have shown they're capable of, of conceding goals and buckle up. It's Seattle on the attack. It's gonna go out for a San Diego throw. It's just been an epic encounter in the open cup. It's why it's must watch every season. It's why we missed it two years ago when the pandemic took it from us. Moments like Adams saving San Diego at the end, Reed Baker Whiting giving Seattle the lead back with an epic goal to make it 4 3. Lovely ball for Conway. Could turn through past Sissoko, who stands him up. Lovely turn into space here for Rowe. Great ball in behind for Sousa. And Sousa! Can't beat Vegas. Again, just the end product from Sousa wasn't quite there. He does ever so well to get to the ball first. You can see his, his pace. He has the, the beating of the defender, but he just doesn't use his, his skills there to his maximum. He could have taken a touch, driven a little bit further, and then picked his corner. Tries to hit the early shot from outside the box. And, and the stage shifts back to Joe Corona. Lofsen, another good ball! Oh, it's Simba, who just came on! Heads in the equalizer! More show-stopping drama! His first touch since coming on! Jackson Simba equalizes, and with five minutes left of extra time! What a way to introduce yourself to this game. Phenomenal delivery again from Corona. And Sibber gives the goalkeeper no chance with, with this header. Underside of the crossbar, into the back of the net. Just floated in behind Simba. Harried by Sousa. Sousa goes down. Oh my word, it's a penalty! It's a penalty! In the final minute of extra time! And Simba, the man who just saved San Diego, may give Seattle a chance to win it with the last kick of the game. Freddy Montero, it's over to you. He scores it! And wins it for Seattle with the last kick of the game. The Sounders lead 5-4 at the death. Games. And Montero here does ever so well to keep his head and tuck this into the back of the net. 
Vegas does well. He chooses the right direction, but he dives high rather than... They win it 5-4 in extra time over San Diego. They advance to the round of 32. And the Sounders, after a huge San Diego scare,